Okay, so what do we do about our assets? What do we do in terms of protecting them, uh, keeping them safe, keeping us safe? Uh, so let's take an inventory. Let's maintain an inventory. What is it that we have? Um, check it regularly. What is it that we have lost? Um, the inventory is not necessarily just for replacement value. Um, we, if, if we lose something that we use every day, presumably we are going to notice that. Um, no, it's stuff that we don't use every day. Um, or sometimes don't know, don't realize that we use every day and something, suddenly something stops working. But um, something that we, we don't use every day, we don't notice when the hardware is gone, what else has gone with the hardware? Um, have we lost a device that contains information about us, which may be valuable to a competitor, an attacker, uh, whatever. Um, so, yeah, uh, let's, you know, have an inventory, know what we've got. Um, and again, you know, like with the logs, no point in having an inventory if you don't check it on a regular basis. So, uh, we've got our different pieces of equipment. And speaking a different... Uh, pieces of equipment. Um, maintain a preferred configuration for uh, different types of equipment. Um, what kind of storage have they got? What kind of memory have they got? What kind of processor have they got? Now, uh, with uh, technology changing as fast as it does, this uh, may be difficult to maintain and keep up to date, but um, there are definite advantages to knowing what the standard um, configuration is, uh, even if it's just a hardware configuration, uh, so that if we start running into a problem, we realize uh, this computer is not low on memory, and that's why it's having a problem, but it's got less memory than we, you know, than is standard. Um, okay, did somebody swipe our memory? Did somebody swipe an extra hard drive? Uh, did somebody, you know, whatever. Um, so, well, and, you know, just simply the troubleshooting. Um, you know, if we take... Uh, an inventory of this piece of equipment and it's wildly different from our standard configuration. Um, you know, is this something that has been swapped out from one of our standard laptops, computers, printers, whatever? Uh, and so has somebody uh, done a swap in order to obtain, uh, well, you know, possibly our hardware, but uh, likely information, data. Uh, possibly passwords. So, um, uh, you know, the configuration. Now, yes, there is a danger in having a standard configuration, even in hardware. Um, we get into a monoculture and, uh, something that affects one machine is going to affect all machines. So, yes, um, uh, there is a danger there, but there, there are a number of advantages and, uh, you know, it's kind of put your eggs in one basket and guard that basket. Um, so, uh, look at, at those types of things, um, and consider them. Um, surge suppressors and things like that. Now, um, Surge suppressors, power supplies, uh, are not considered uh, a huge deal anymore. Our 
electrical supplies are, uh, well, the utility companies uh, know that people are going to be demanding uh, that we have uh, standard, good, solid power supplies um, that uh, people are going to want that, going to expect that, and so we don't need that as much. Uh, but, you know, again, it depends on how important is this stuff to you. And uh, so, yeah, we want to be uh, aware of possibilities. Um, interesting things, you know, I've talked about uh, power and power supplies and uninterruptible power supplies. I just mentioned that um, the fr I was one of the first people that I knew, certainly, to have my own personal UPS at home. Um, unfortunately, I uh, lived in North Vancouver, um, which had a lot of power failures, but um, I lived in Lynn Valley, which is kind of protected and did not have many power failures. And so the first time that the power actually did go out, um, the, the battery had given up and died because it was that old in, in my UPS. So, you know, interesting uh, stuff in that regard. Um, uh, what else? Um, okay, in the same way that we review our logs for... Uh, uh, our system logs uh, log the hardware modifications, the configuration modifications, maintenance activities. We've we've talked about that uh, again in terms of the logs. Retain them as required. Not too long, not too short. Um, uh, and procedures and access controls in regard to remote maintenance. Uh, increasingly, that's that's the way you got to do it. They, you know the contractor doesn't show up on your doorstep uh, they uh, you know dial in to your computer connect to your computer and do maintenance that way so make sure that we are doing it properly that we are securing it properly and making sure uh, that our security is protected